Hi, my name is Chris McKenna and this is Exam Debug. So today we're going to be looking at systems analysis and this is for IGCSE ICT. And this particular class is just going to be a quick introduction uh, to all the basic parts of systems analysis. So welcome back. And uh, let's have a look at systems analysis. So first off, let's define systems analysis. So systems analysis is when you have an existing system and you want to change it to a new system. And to do that, we follow these steps at the side here. Now, the person that does this change is usually called a systems analyst. Now, a systems analyst is a type of consultant. And usually, although not always, they come from outside of the organization. So, for example, we have a business, and back in the day, they were using paper to record all of their information. Maybe they'll hire a systems analyst, and this person will come in. They'll look at how the old system works, and they'll come up with a plan for a new system. Nowadays, that's probably going to be a computerized system. So maybe the most common changeover that you, you can think of, or the easiest one to work with to begin with, is going to be changing from an old paper system into a computerized system. Okay, so when a systems analyst um, approaches this task, they break it down into stages. So we have analysis, design, development and testing, implementation, documentation, and evaluation. And we'll go into those stages in a bit more detail in a minute. Um, but you do, when you're taking your IGCSE exam, you're going to have to remember these things and you're going to have to remember them in order. So a good way to do that, a good way to remember is to, to come up with some kind of mnemonic, some kind of trick to help you learn. Personally, I just remember ADD, A-D-D, I-D-E. -D -E. For some reason, this works for me. Um, other people I know find it helpful to have a, a proper sentence, so a daily dose improves Dave's education. A, A, D, 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 I, I, D, 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 E. It doesn't help that there are so many Ds in this one, but um, try your best to memorize these six stages in order. So let's have a look at those six stages very quickly. Um, other videos are going to break down these stages into much more detail. So this is a general overview. So our first stage is analysis. So this is one of the most important stages. And it's when we look at the old system and we see how things function. And we talk to people. We talk to the, for example, if we are a consultant, we talk to the person that invited us to the company or is paying us. And we find out, you know, what is it they actually want to change? What, what do they feel is wrong with the old system? If they're using paper, you know, why do they want to change? What, what benefits do they hope to get from the new system? And from that, we can come up with our requirements. So what do we need to keep from the old system? What must it do? We can have a defined list of the things we require for the system. After that, we come into design. So designing is simply planning. And there's lots of different things we can do when planning, but in effect, it just means make a plan. No, at this stage, we're not making anything. I'm, for example, if I was doing a database, I would just be planning the data types. I wouldn't be using access at this point. The next stage would be when I would make the thing. So development simply means to make or create, to develop. Um, so again, if we had decided that we were going to use a database to solve the problem, here would be the point where we would be actually making the tables and then later on testing to see that the product we had made to solve the problem is the right, is working properly. Um, after that, implementation, which simply means to put into use. So in the case of our database, we would actually be starting to use it in the real company. And there's different ways we can do this that we'll come into later. After that, we're on to documentation. Um, documentation can be user or technical. So think of this as things like having the instruction manuals 
for the people that are going to be using it, or um, having the technical manuals for people who might have to fix the system later. And then finally, we come to evaluation. So evaluation is when we look back at everything we've done, uh, we look at the requirements that we came up with in the analysis phase, and see whether we've met all of those. We see if there's any additional things that we can improve. So in effect, evaluation takes us back to the beginning. And it's, it's almost like a cycle. Um, because once we come up with, once we, evaluation is in effect analyzing our creation. And once we've done that, we would make new designs to improve on it again, develop the testing, and so on and so on. So it is more secure. It is more of a cycle than, um, uh, just a straight line. All right, so let's see how that works in real life. Well, semi-real life. Um, this is Mr. Awesome, and he owns a gym. Now, we're going to be using Mr. Awesome all the way through the different videos for systems analysis, just so you can, you can keep together with it. So, Mr. Awesome has a small gym. Uh, he started off from scratch. He's been, he's been getting customers gradually over time. And he's just been writing down their names on paper. He's been taking their payments in cash and writing it down on paper. Um, the training programs, again, he just writes them down on some forms that he keeps in a drawer. But he's become more successful. He started hiring other trainers. He's got more and more customers. Um, he's moving to a bigger gym. And he needs to change over his system. The paper system is not effective anymore. He's got too many, he's got too many customers. So he wants to maybe move on to using a computer. So the stages for Mr. Awesome in the analysis phase, we're going to have a look at how he's doing it already. We're going to see what information he records. We're going to talk to him. We're going to talk to his employees and see how they use this system. And from that, we're going to come up with our requirements and maybe we'll do a feasibility study in terms of his money, in terms of his, his uh, what he really wants from this new system. Design, we're going to make a plan. So we're not going to start making anything yet. We're just going to plan out our system. So maybe I decide that um, a database is going to be the best way forward for keeping his client information. So I'm going to plan that database. I'm not going to start making it. I'm not touching uh, the computer system yet. I'm just planning on what I'm going to do. Data types, tables, relationships, things like that. The next phase is when I actually start making it. In Access, uh, maybe I create the database using Access. I create all the fields, start putting in the existing clients changing over the clients, things like that. And then I test it. I, I make sure it works. Um, I use the existing data. I use other tests. We'll go into those in more detail later. Implementation is where Mr. Awesome and his team, we start using the computer system. There's, again, different ways we can do this. In short, let's say we just start using the computer system instead of his paper one. And so this is the reality once it's actually put into place. After that, I'm making documentation. So maybe Mr. Awesome is, you know, he's not that familiar with computers. So maybe some of the documentation will be how to use this new computer. It will be how to use the database, things like this. But I'll also create technical documentation for if someone needs to fix it, if another consultant is going to do something later on, things like that. Finally, evaluation. I'm going to look back and see, okay, the requirements I had in this stage doesn't meet up with what Mr. Awesome really wanted and things like that. Okay, so that's our, our short example for today. What would be a good thing at this point for you to do is, um, again, we're going to be doing this in all the videos, so it'd be good if you had your own company that you could keep up with as we work through the stages. So can you try and design your own company? It doesn't have to be, it can be big, it can be small. Um, and go through these phases. So analysis phase, give us a picture and describe what happens in the analysis phase. Phase, Design phase, give us a picture to, to represent what's happening there. 
and give a description of what happens there. So work through all those stages. You should have six slides or six um, different sections. The next class, we're going to be focusing on analysis. So we're going to be looking at this bit in more detail and the different ways that we can do analysis. So please subscribe, check out the other videos we have, and uh, visit examdebug.com. Also, if you really think you've got the hang of it, then you can try making your own videos to try teaching it in your, your own style. Send them to us and we'll upload them on the site. Thanks very much and good luck with your exams. Yeah.